All right, we're at the Ferndale Live Green Fair, and uh, we have stopped by the uh, Sierra Club of Michigan booth, and here is Deli. How you doing, man? How you guys doing? All right. All right. So tell us what's going on. First of all, I see a green cruise on Saturday, August 13th. That's correct. We have our green cruise, annual, our seventh annual, and this is basically an alternative energy parade. If you can get there any means necessary by your foot, by a skateboard, by a wagon, by magic, do that. Cars, not allowed. No, sorry. We don't use <laughs> fossil fuels at this event. No. I hear but you. there's a 50 mile, there's a 20 mile, and basically it's a fun, exciting event for the children, for anyone who's about the green, for anyone who's not about the green. It's a great, awesome event to come out to the community and to support clean energy, clean air, which is what we breathe, which is what we need. Which is, is this a fundraiser, Deli? Not to my knowledge. Not that I know. Okay, so it's free to participate. And exactly. Just turn out and it's an educational event and exactly. uh, meet people and have some fun. That's exactly what it is. And an awesome event for the kids show, and for them that, to learn. Uh, let's see that. Uh, this is last year's t shirt. All right, it's kind of shady in here, but I think we got it. All right. And everything is made from plant based soy inks, you know, recycled material for the paper, recycled plastic for the shirts, and it's made locally even. Who, who made it locally for you? That's a good question. I, Mr. Tom Dusky told me, but he did not elaborate as far as the company he, that he did. He wouldn't lie, so. This is true, this is true. And here's the back of our our amazing sponsors who help make the event possible every year. Yep. And it's quite a few of them, so it's a lot of people involved. It goes on and on and on. It does. And how many years has this uh, cruise been going on? This has been going on for about seven years. Seven years. This is going to be my first year. I'm going to be there. I'm pretty excited about this, which means I need to fix my bike. <laughs> so what else is uh, Sierra Club of Michigan up to? Okay, Sierra Club of Michigan, we are currently active in a lot of things, but personally we are trying to focus on now the EPA and their new rulings on soot, smog, and particulate matter. Now the EPA is coming to town in August, August 22nd for that whole week for the Environmental Justice Conference. So we want to make sure that we have everybody there who wants to have their chance to speak. We need their voices heard from each and every community. I see you have a Beyond Coal t-shirt. This is correct. And right. this is the way that we feel our industry should move beyond. Beyond coal. Coal is the energy, as Mr. Van Jones says, the energy of our grand ancestors. The energy that is powered off of death. We need clean energy, such as solar, wind, hydro. It's out there, folks. Alternative energy is what we're speaking, and it's what we need. It's what will drive this green economy and it's what's healthier for us because this coal right now currently it's increasing and exacerbating asthma rates, lung disease rates, which means of course inherently that um, our cost of insurance, health insurance and health care is going to go up drastically. And, now, our, and our health is going to go down. That's rest. true. Sorry. And that's what we, we don't need that at all folks. And everything that we're doing already it's, it's, it's a difficult world to live in already. And what is the most encouraging thing you see about renewable energy going on in, in Michigan right now? What What is happening that's encouraging? The thing that I think that's most encouraging to me is that there's some, a lot of our local officials actually are putting their energy and putting their money and trying to help shift money towards that. As far as I've seen a lot of... Like who? Um, I know that Senator Stabenow, she's yeah. definitely for clean energy and currently there's a lot of talk about, and actually I've seen erections of, I think they're called, what are they called? Wind energy, yes. Wind towers and there's wind farms that's going up, I think, and and some parts of Port Huron and even Wyandotte. Yeah. So that's a lot that we've liked to see so far and this can keep increasing over the different cities and country, cities and states in Michigan. That'll be amazing to see. All right. So people should turn out for the Saturday, August 13th. They really should. Uh, uh, green Cruise and uh, thanks to Sierra Club for all the good work. Thanks a lot. Thank